Yeah, you know, I want to thank all of you for coming today. And it's been so cool to be in the UK. And we've had, I flew in on Thursday, and Steve, you picked me up at noon. And we have been meeting with people since, since right now. I mean, it's been so cool that the excitement. Where's Nick? There's Nick from Adventure Boot Camp. We had a great yeah. meeting there yesterday, huh? Yeah. So, you know, I want to, I really have one clear objective today. There's four things I want everyone to understand. Number one, what is the reveal program? Now, what is it? Number two, why reveal? Why the Monty Juices? Number three, how do you work it into your world as a person living the program? And then number four, how do you get your product for free? How do you work into your monarchy business and how do you share it with others? Now before that, I want you to know who I am. You know, my, back in 1999, I created a program to provide hope for people. You know, I'll share more of my story throughout my presentation. But, you know, I, I went from an athlete using exercise daily to a fitness model, suffering with dieting, living in complete deprivation. So I created something, created a solution for me. I did something to create a solution for my mom, who I watched growing up drop 50 plus pounds 10 different times in her life. And every single time, she'd regain it, plus a little bit more, and feel like a failure. I created for my wife, Abby, who was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, and hit a point where six months into her pain, I walk out of our living room and she's there crying, saying she never thinks she's going to get better. And then all the clients I've worked with, when you look at when it's a when it's a mom, like just Conrad looking at his ten-year-old daughter eating healthy but still gaining body fat, and when a kid gains weight, this is key. We lay out fat cells in our adolescent period. So when a girl or a boy goes through puberty, that's when you develop fat cells. And once you have a fat cell, it never goes away. You might lose fat, but you don't lose that cell. So we can prevent kids from gaining those fat cells now. We change their future. Think of all the pain that you've had with weight if you have. So I look at kids that we can help. I look at the hope of the chronic diarrhea when I was in Austin, Texas, in, in, in the United States, of a family coming up to me with a lady feeling like she'd never been able to lose weight before, now she can. And her husband wanting to gain weight, and he had the solution now. And their two kids not understanding food. When I was in Paris, France, I had a, a family come up here, I had a lady come up here who was a chronic dieter and felt like she had no hope anymore. She's done every diet out there, what can I do? And it gave people hope. And then I look also in Paris, France, someone from Poland, an athlete, trying to take their body to another level, not understanding how. You know, Dallin Larson sent me a text before my first convention that I ever did with Monavie, which is in... Uh, Where's our first? Uh, Texas. In Texas that we did that. In Dallas, Texas. And I said, you know, now I'm so far about this opportunity. And he sent me a text. He said, all I care about is that we provide people hope. I want you to know that since 1988 as an athlete in high school, all I looked for was a solution. I created a program in 1999 to provide people the hope that they want. That wherever you want to take your body, you can. And that's why I'm here today. That's what my message is all about. That together, we can provide people with the hope that whether they want to lose weight, whether they want to gain weight, whatever your goal is, have more energy, eliminate sugar cravings, feed your kids, just feel better, you have the opportunity to do that. And if you can understand, if you can understand the physiology of the body, which I'm going to share with you today, it will take you to a place that you've never been before. And that's really what we're all about. And to me, that's what I want to share with you today. Because I don't, I'm not here saying, I want you to do a program and use a product. Do I want you to do the program and use a product? Yes, I do. But I want you to understand why that is, so that you're not leaving here saying, oh, I need to do that. I want you to leave here saying, I'm going to have the tools now to take my body wherever I want to go. And I'm so passionate about that I want to share with others. Are we fired up? Yeah. Are we ready? How do I get the PowerPoint? <laughs> okay. Okay, so through this presentation, and look, after, after the event today, I will stay till I fly out at 2.45 tomorrow. 
So I don't sleep on cool with it. So any questions you have, ask me. So afterwards, we do pictures, books, I want every question you have. I want everyone here to leave with the answers that you came seeking. So when we look at it, two questions you've got to ask yourself. Is my program based upon physiology? And can I do the, my program for the rest of my life? You know, John, I love what you presented about the right time. You know, the right message, the right product. You know, I, I learned when I wrote Body Confidence and our publisher, Harper Collins, came to me and said, you know, Mark, be careful when you use the word right. Because the moment you say something's right, you're immediately saying something else is wrong. So I want you to know I never use the word right, except for now. See, I believe it's the right time and we have the right message. And the reason why it's the right time is because whether I'm in North America, whether I'm at that park this morning that Jamie and I walked, what's the name of that park? Uh, that's a cool park, man. <laughs> I love one. That's cool. So whether it's at the park, whether I'm in Portugal, Lisbon, we got our Portuguese to pay them right there. They flew all the way. Just give them a big hand, huh? Whether I'm in France or Poland, it doesn't matter. Or Germany, it doesn't matter. Everyone's looking for a solution. People are struggling with their weight. Who here wants to lose weight? Who here wants to gain muscle? I like she stood up to Who wants to gain muscle? Who wants more energy? Who wants to improve something about their health or their body? Yeah. Who doesn't want to improve something about their health or their body? Okay, everyone look around. Do you see anyone with their hands up? <laughs> so why is it the right time? It's the right time because 100% of the audience wants to improve something about their health or their body. So when you have 100% of the audience wanting to do something, whether you're walking down the street, whether you're at the park, whatever country you're in, whether you're in your city, whether you're in your own house, everybody wants to do something. I want everyone to grab a piece of their body that they want to lose fat on. <laughs> Frank, grab their whole body. <laughs> grab a piece. Now, envision where you want to go. Envision where you want to go with your body, with your goals. Envision it right now. Hold it. Hold on to that. Okay, I'm going to deal with it back later, but just hold on to that right now. Who's living the program right now in the UK? If you're living the program, stand up for me. Who feels, keep standing, who feels that the program, living the program, you've improved your overall health by living it? Who feel like it's helped you build your business? Who feel that when you have great results, things come to you? Who's dropped over 50 pounds on the program? Or I don't know the stones on I gotta have another stone. <laughs> 40 stones. Oh no, stones. <laughs> we have someone who's dropped, how many stones is that? What's that, 94 pounds, what is it? Six and a half stones on that. So, give my hand. the right time, well, we also have to talk about the right message. See, there's people who don't want to lose weight. So if you only have a weight loss product, well, guess what? They, they only can talk to people who want to lose weight. And once they lose weight, guess what's going to happen? They're going to use the product anymore. We're not in the weight loss industry. We're not in the dieting industry. So everyone can sit back down. Give them a hand. <laughs> We're talking about the right time because you know 100% of the audience knows. And I would say that almost everyone in your life wants to improve something about their body or their health. So the first thing you have to understand, it is the right time. There is no better time than right now. Now, is it the right message? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Who's ever died in here before? You are passionate. I love What's your name? Esther. What is it? Esther. Estelle? <laughs> Esther. Okay, Esther. Esther ceased to stand up. I like it. So, diets fail people because they create restriction. Because anyone can lose weight. Anyone in this room can lose weight. I don't doubt that. You can lose weight. The question is, is can you, uh, can you permanently reprogram your metabolism and keep the weight off? Throw those two questions back up, please. 
So is my health program physiologically correct? If it's not blood sugar stabilization, it's not. And I'm going to share exactly why that is throughout this presentation. Number two, can I do it for the rest of my life? Those are the simple two questions that you have to say yes to on both. So it's not only the right time, we're delivering the right message, and we're going to focus on the right program and product. So let's talk about why it's the right message. Diets. This is what diets do. We hit a tipping point. We can't take it anymore. Our weight's too heavy. We're struggling. And what do we want to do? We want to cut. You know, I played soccer in college, and I love, I love the UK because I love soccer. It's my favorite sport. It's so cool. So I played soccer in college, ate whatever I wanted. And then the moment I stopped playing ball, because I was using exercise saline, I put on 60 pounds. I went from 190 to 250. And in six months, I put on those 60 pounds, and the funny thing is this, is like most men, I thought it was all muscle. When any man who gains weight, we think it's all muscle. So I'm not exercising anymore, and I'm eating pizza, I went on the pizza diet. And you know, a couple things happen. I love, I love pizza, I love hamburger, I love french fries, I love ice cream. But the thing was, is that because I stopped playing soccer, and I was moving on with the next chapter of my life, I felt a void. And I turned to food. And every day I'd go to the all-you-can-eat pizza buffet. I'd eat a large pizza, I'd have garlic bread, and then I'd go have ice cream. And I'd put on those 60 pounds. Now, the funny thing is I thought it was muscle, so I'm big. <laughs> and I'm looking in the mirror, and my wife Abby's right there, and I said, Abby, look. I'm 250 pounds, and I still have a six-pack stomach. <laughs> and she gave me that look. <laughs> That you know people give you when, like, they're going to give you some bad news. <laughs> and I said, Abby, Abby, it's the light. Come to the light. Because it's always about the light. And she's standing behind me, and she said, it's so nice. She said, Mark, I just don't see it anymore. <laughs> so I, it hit me like a ton of bricks. So I hit my tipping point where you just don't, you can't take it anymore. You don't care how you get that weight off. You're just going to get it off. Cut my calories. I cut my carbohydrates. Crank my exercise back up. I dropped the 60 pounds. I took my body fat to 4% in four months. And I lived that way for four years as a fitness mom. Completely feeling horrible while looking amazing. Nick, we talked about that yesterday, right? And it was tough. Can we put that back up? I gotta talk about it. Thanks. And I hit a point over those that, that four-year period where food controlled every thought. Of me. It controlled everything I thought about. I would be walking down the road, or I'd be driving down the highway, and there'd be like a pizza hut right there, which is a pizza restaurant. And I'd pull over, and because my blood sugar was so low, I'd get a large pepperoni pizza, I'd eat that pizza, feel like I was in heaven for 15 minutes, and then feel like a failure for the next three days. I was in such deprivation that when you diet, you live for your cheap things, right? Then he died, you live for the cheat day. That's because of low blood sugar. So I'd have my cheat day, and I'd be, oh, I feel so good. And then the next three days, I was in total depression because I was far away from my cheat day. Come that fourth day, I was closer to my cheat day. I started being happy again, living for it. That's how I lived. I wouldn't travel. I wouldn't eat in restaurants. I would have to walk past a mirror, lifting up my shirt, thinking and living in fear that I was getting fat again. And you know why I know it's just not me? Because I've coached over 20,000 clients. Our practice has coached over 500,000. And this is a real thing that people struggle with. Body image. Which is why I created a program called Body Confidence. That's why I wrote a book. Because whatever it means to you, everybody wants it. So fast forward, I was doing that cycle, which people do. They cut, they draw. Their hunger comes up, they overeat, their home, they spike their hormone insulin, which I'll explain. They get body fat increase, the cycle repeats itself. And every time you do that, you slow down your metabolism. So something happened. Fast forward four years, you know, I used exercise saline as an athlete, I used dieting as a fitness model. Two things changed my life. First thing is I was working with clients. So who was I working with? What's your name? Caroline? So Caroline would come to me and I'd say, Caroline, what's your goal? What's your health goal? Um, gain more muscle. You want to gain more muscle? Perfect. What else would you like to do? Uh, better stamina. Better stamina. What else? Healthier. Okay, perfect. So Caroline would come to me 
Stay right there. You can go right back down there. So you come right back. You can sit right back down. She would come to me in Venice Beach, California, and I would start working with you. Actually, this is in North Beach, California. She would come to me, and she would say, this is what I want to go. Maybe she wants to tone up, take her body to another level, have more stamina, build muscle. And I'd say, we're going to get you there. And I'd put her on a plan, and she would get there in three months. And I would do, do exactly what I was doing. Because I looked the part, she would come to me. And because I had the education, she would come to me. But guess what would happen after those three months? Life would start to push back, and she would start to regain, or maybe she would gain that muscle, lose that body fat, and then she would start to regress a little bit. Because what I was putting her on was a diet. See, I would cut her calories, I'd cut her carbohydrates. She would get that result, but then eventually she would start to regress again, just like that yo-yo syndrome. I saw that happen to my mom 10 different times in my life. It wasn't Caroline that was failing, I was failing her. But after she would regress, she didn't blame me, she would blame herself. And that's what diets do. They set us up to fail because they, we were supposed to be the one, if you do a diet, you ever hear just do the work, just do the diet? You start a diet and you fall off of The average diet buys a new diet book every 90 days. And they feel like they're failing, they're not succeeding. It's not them, it's the people giving the information. I was teaching the wrong concepts. So I was doing exactly to my clients when I saw my mom do it, was destroying her. Second thing happened. You know, when, you, when you're at the place where you struggle with finding the answers, and you're just so obsessed with your body, that you ignore everything. I ignored my wife. You know, I was an intimate with her. I would... And we can go places. It just wasn't the life she wanted. And I was really like a prisoner of my body image. And she came to me and she said, something has to change. I can't live like this anymore. So what do you do in life? You know, we all have crossroads. You're failing your wife. You're failing your clients. Do you keep walking down that path? Or do you find a different way? And fortunately, because I had a background in anatomy and physiology with my background in nutrition, I found a better way. I realized that why can't you look and feel your very best? Why does that have to be one or the other? Why can't you eat the foods that you love and take your body to another level? Why can't you build muscle? Why do you have to rebound? Why do you have to restrict? Why do you have to cut calories? You don't. Rather than using food to lose weight, use food to create internal hormonal balance. And we do that through blood sugar stabilization. And what I realize is that if you can stabilize your blood sugar hormonally, you put your body in an amazing place where you consistently release your store of fat, and with the right, right exercise, you burn that fat up. Let's talk about that. Can I have the PowerPoint one more time? This is blood sugar stabilization. Everyone stand up. Next four minutes will change how you look at food. Stand up. Lift your left arm. Lift your right arm. Lift your, shake your left leg. Shake your right leg. Roll your neck a little bit. I want you to feel your heartbeat. Take a breath. Take another breath. Tighten your abdominals. Tighten those abs. Okay, everyone sit back down. So look, this is the deal. Next four minutes, change how you look at food for the rest of your life. Because this is the facts. Once you know the truth, you may not want to do it. So you can never deny knowing it. So we are ditching the diet. You know that 100% of the audience wants the answers, and we're providing the answers right now in the next four minutes. So when we look at it, every movement you just made, every beat your heart just had, and every breath you just took was created through an energy source called ATP. That is how your body creates energy. This is not a philosophy. This is not something I created. This is pure physiology of the body. No doubt. Now, how does your body create ATP? Through glucose. So this is how the body works. Your blood sugar is what creates ATP. And every time that you miss a meal, so if you miss breakfast, if you miss your mid-morning meal or your mid-afternoon meal, your blood sugar drops. And every time your blood sugar drops, it does not use fat for fuel. Fat cannot be converted to feed the brain the sugar it needs. Can't do it. Fat can be converted for energy, but in a different mechanism. Not from a blood sugar side. So when your blood sugar drops, your pancreas 
over-release of the hormone called glucagon, which means that you burn muscle. So for the rest of your life, please know this. Every time you miss a meal, you are burning muscle and purposely slowing down your metabolism. My mom never knew this. My mom was willing to do the work. Just like when I walked in the park today, Jamie and I saw every single person who benefit from the program. Whatever their goal was. Because you saw all different body types. But they didn't know the truth. They didn't know what to do. Now we know that. Now, when you miss that meal, you don't crave chicken or tuna. You crave carbohydrates. Why? Because your brain needs it. So your blood sugar spikes, and every time your blood sugar spikes, you over-release the hormone insulin and you store body fat. This is how people eat. They eat three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They miss their mid-morning, mid-afternoon, so they eat a big lunch because they have cravings. They eat a big dinner, and they slowly and steadily burn muscle and store fat. And then based upon their genetic body composition, some are going to be a little heavier, some are going to be middle, and then some will be lean, but the older they get, they get a little softer. See, those are genetics. But everyone needs to stabilize their blood sugar. The 12th week, all of you were babies once. I know it. 12th <laughs> week in the womb, you started stabilizing your own blood sugar. First breath you took, you had to stabilize your blood sugar to survive. How does a baby feel? Breast milk is what? Protein, fat, carbohydrates. Baby feeds every three to four hours, about five to seven times a day. And they eat a certain amount of calories. A baby doesn't do two ounces, one meal, and then eight ounces. They do four to six ounces, four to six ounces. Ask yourself this. If that's how our body's meant to be fed for the entire first year of our life, why would we ever stop? The answer is because we can. See, if you don't stabilize your blood sugar, your body will do it for you, hormonally. But there's a cost. So the key is we've got to prevent that from ever happening. So you control your choices by stabilizing your blood sugar through three simple things. Make sense to everyone so far? Yes. Okay. PowerPoint again. So three things. You have to eat within an hour upon waking and every three to four hours within an hour upon bedtime. Guaranteed. Okay? You have to have a balance of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. Protein affects the hormone glucagon, which raises your blood sugar. Carbs affect insulin, which lowers your blood sugar. Fat slows down the uh, release of hydrochloric acid, which slows down digestion. That's a physiology behind it. And you have to eat a certain amount of calories to stabilize it. I would work with hard gainers, people who want to gain weight, and they would think, I'm going to eat 5,000 calories a meal. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It, you can't do that. It's not about calories per day. It's about per meal. Your body can only process and metabolize a certain amount. And whenever it can't, it will waste or store based upon the speed of your metabolism. So whatever the goal is, this is what you need to do. I don't care who you are. When we talk about what we're teaching, it's for everybody. The reason why in, in America, I don't know the UK stat, but Europe isn't far behind. 75% of the adult American population is going to be overweight or obese by 2020. Three quarters of the population. It's crazy. And at the same time, more people than ever before are investing in weight loss programs and pharmaceuticals. So imagine this. More than ever before, we're investing in it and yet rapidly regressing. It's because we're teaching broken concepts. We're not teaching blood sugar stabilization. See, this is our time. This is what we need, and this is what people have to understand. So it's just three simple things. So we have to know, everyone, when you leave today, I want everyone to know, cemented in your brain, that dieting fails. And dieting is calorie restriction. Anytime you cut calories and you cut carbs, you will, be, you will regress. You may get a, a temporary result, but you're going to gain it back. We know that. All the stats support that. So when you diet, yeah, you can get that. So someone's going to come to you, and let's say I'm working with a client. What's your name? Sonia. Sonia comes to me. Sonia, and you'd say, because I just don't want to educate. I want to make sure that we have practical application. So I'm going to come. What's your goal, Sonia? I want to lose some You want to lose some, body, some belly fat. Okay. So I'd say, so, so I was going to say, Sonia, what's your health goal? She wants to lose her belly fat. 
Okay, well, have you ever have you ever dropped that belly fat before? You haven't? What do you think is causing you to gain that? Eating badly. Eating badly? Yes. Yeah, Are you interested in learning how you can actually Absolutely. just not lose that, but actually permanently lose it? Yeah. I got a, I got a program for you. Okay. You ready for it? Yeah. Okay, so number one, she's cool because she's never dieted before. Let's take a dieter now. Have you dieted before? Okay, because we talked, so I know that. What's your name again? Fatima. Fatima. What's your goal? She wants to lose weight. Have you ever lost weight before? Oh, you never lost weight. So we're not going to come to you right now. Let's go to Fran. Because I want to use an example of a dieter. Hey, what's your goal, Fran? To lose 20. To lose 20 pounds. Have you ever lost weight before? Oh, yeah. You have. You've been a dieter? So you've lost weight. Have you regained that weight back? Yeah. How much fun is that? So do you want to find a way, a better way, where you can actually lose the weight and keep it off this time? Okay. So we're going to do a different type of program for you. We're going to actually teach you how to stabilize your blood sugar, balance your hormones, and burn that fat up in your muscle. Sound good? Okay. So there you go. So if you don't have to be a nutritionist, you can print out this PowerPoint. You don't have to share all this stuff. You just have to speak to what they need. The number one question is, what's your goal? And if they've never lost weight before, then it doesn't matter. But most people, if they've lost weight, call that because this is what the mindset is. I'm asking everyone, Fatima and I were talking. And can I share what we talked about last night? She's never been to diet, okay? She dropped 14 pounds on reveal, on the shape. And she came to me for yeah, that one stone. Stuff. And still getting it in my head wrapped around the stone. And she came to me and she said, I'm not dropping any more weight. I'm at this plateau. I'm eating five to six times a day and I'm not dropping any more weight. So I said to her, I said, well, what are you doing the other meals? And she said, well, I think they're balanced. I said, well, are they balanced? She said, oh, well, not, you know, I don't know. Well, I said, then you're really not doing the program. And she said, well, probably not. I said, no, you're not doing the program. And she said, okay, I'm not doing the program. <laughs> this is the thing. Listen, reveal is not going to make you lose weight or gain weight. And I'm talking about reveal next. It's not going to make you lose weight or gain weight. Reveal is the greatest meal replacement ever made. Because once you know that you have to eat five to six times a day, unlike a diet where you can just eat two to three times a day, we now know physiologically why that's going to fail you. You have to eat five to six times a day. If not, you are going to regress with your health. So you need to eat this way. So when you eat this way, well, you have to eat five to six times a day. Who's busy in this room? Who's not busy? <laughs> Isn't eating five to six times a day work? I think it's work. It's not the easiest thing, right? The reality is this. Who has kids? Who's married? <laughs> Who's building a business? Are any of those things easy? Your health is no different. So what we have to do, is, what we have to do is this. We have to show people why dieting fails quickly and efficiently. We have to show them why stable blood sugar, and then we have to provide them with a solution. The majority of the people are doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. People are doing that. We're going to educate them on how to eat the right amount of foods for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But what we have to show them is where do they eat their mid-gaps? If they don't have time to eat breakfast, what can they do? What do they do the mid-morning, mid-afternoon meals? What do they do late at night? That's why we create Reveal. Can I have that one more time? So Reveal, to me, and, and, and coming to UK has been great. I love being here because people ask me questions that I've never heard before. Because I don't know the culture. I'm learning the culture. You know, being in the UK, someone said to me, they said, no, meal replacements are only for weight loss and they're bad. You know, I was talking, I don't know if she's here, but on Thursday, she's on the program. She said, there's no way I'm going to do a meal replacement for the rest of my life. I said, why not? She said, because I don't want to diet for the rest of my life. I said, well, the good news is you're not dieting. I want us to be very clear that I know that there may be other products out there that are based on dieting and that they're considered liquid diets. That is not what this program is about. This program is about eating five to six times a day in the right balance and the right calories and stabilizing your blood sugar. 
And if you're going to eat six real meals a day, then go for it. I've been coaching clients since 1999. And I'll say that on my hand, out of my 500,000 clients in our practices, probably no more than five people have been able to eat six real meals every single day to stabilize their blood sugar. Because the reality is we're busy. So, how, what, so if you're going to have to replace a meal, how do you do that? That's why we created Reveal. Three reasons why. Number one, it's got the highest quality level of protein in it. Why does protein matter? Protein has a nutrient called, an element in it called nitrogen. It's the only thing that has nitrogen. What controls if your body's in a good state? You have more nitrogen coming than leaving. When you're in a bad state, catabolic, you have less nitrogen coming in than leaving. So when you don't get enough nitrogen, your body and your cells and your tissues are in a negative state. So you have to get protein in every single meal. So it's got the highest quality of protein. Second, it's got the right balance of protein, fat, and carbohydrates to stabilize your blood sugar. So it provides you the opportunity of the right amount of protein, the right amount of carbs, the right amount of fat. Third, everyone take a breath. Take another breath. You all just created free radicals. And a free radical is a molecule that lacks an electron. And a natural part of metabolism, where's my lady who shared that with me? Where we knew that. Natural part of right there. Natural part of metabolism. You know, so a lot of times we act like free radicals are bad. They're part of metabolism. So when when they're not out of check, they're good. The problem though is how do you count a free radical? You need to have your fruits and veggies. Steve Jones said something pretty cool. He was talking to a room and he said, who here ate five or six um, fruits or vegetables yesterday? Let's do that. Who here ate five or six fruits or vegetables yesterday? Not counting juice or anything. Okay, who's done that? Who did, okay, well, keep your hands up, keep your hands up. Who's done that for seven straight days? Perfect, who's done that for two straight weeks? Nice. Who's done that for three straight weeks? Perfect. Okay, so everyone look around. So you have, what, five people? Five people who do that? So listen, most people think, I'm just going to eat my fruits and veggies. But the reality is that it's very difficult to get that consistently. I've been traveling. It's not going to happen. So if you're going to do a meal replacement, you want to make sure it's got the right protein. It's got the right balance of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. And it has an antioxidant level that will donate an electron to that free radical molecule so it can be excreted from the body. Reveal gives you all three. There has never been a meal replacement like this. I guarantee you. So it's not a weight loss shake. It's not a shake for weight loss. It's not a shake to gain weight. It's a meal replacement shake that fills in the gaps when you need to replace one of your five or six meals. Anywhere from one to three a day. Does that sound good? Yeah. Does everyone understand that? Yeah. Okay, so when we look at products, there's two products I think everyone should take. I think everyone should take Reveal, and I think everyone should take Active. And this is why. As much as this has great antioxidants, up to 10 servings of fruits or veggies in it, it's simply not enough. So we talk about oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is a very negative thing for your body. And it's when you have too many free radicals. And the great news with eating more meals is you stabilize your blood sugar. The bad news, you create more free radicals. Great news with exercising is you improve your overall health. The challenging news, you create more free radicals. So you need both. As an athlete, I wish I had this. I didn't. But you better believe my son uses it and reveal. My seven-year-old son. So when we look at it, this is just, it's a super juice that gives you fruits and veggies. And gives you a replacement. So, if we could put the slide back up. So this is it. So we know, if I go back here and I'm working with you, what's your name? Betty. Betty comes to me and I say, Betty, let's say Betty knows dieting fails. Because she knows, I know i got to stabilize my blood sugar now, Mark. She's in. And now she's saying, how can I do that? Well, that's why I pull up Reveal. I have it in my bag. I have a little shaker with me. And I say, well, I have a solution for you. Because she now knows she needs it five to six times a day. And I simply take it out. I go, well, when your life shows up and you're busy, 
And in those mid-morning, mid-afternoon meals, it's very simple. You're just going to have a, you're going to have a shake. Because she's going to say, let's say she's going to say, you know, I can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but there's no way I can make a meal at meal two and meal four. So I said, well, Betty, can you take a scoop around and put it in some water with the shaker and shake it up and drink it? And she says, yes, she can. That's how easy it is. See, it's not just about saying, use this product. We have to show people why they should be using it. And we have to shift people's mindset. See, look, I get it. It's easier to say, look, you go to someone they want to lose weight, just do this shake and you'll lose some weight. It's easier to do that. That's not right, though. You have to be educated about the message that you're sharing. And the one thing is, if you're not living the program, that's my first message to everyone today. You've got to live the program before you start sharing the program. Okay? And if you're not willing to live the program, then honestly, I don't really want you sharing the program. And you don't have to be a fitness model. You don't have to be in a bikini. Let's get very clear. Everyone's got their own definition of body confidence, right? Yes. Everyone does. So it doesn't matter where you're going to be. You just have to do it. I was in Poland with Randy Schrader. And Randy, I went up, and Bruno, you're going to meet... Um, uh, Bruno Chico, and Bruno had some scrambled eggs and some fruit. Jamie and I had them this morning. You go to any buffet, you get scrambled eggs and some fruit. Protein, fat, and carbs, right there. So I had that. And then Randy Schrader said, said as much as I wanted to have scrambled eggs and fruit, I wanted some chocolate hazelnuts and some bacon. <laughs> and that's cool. But Randy lives the program. So it's not like you have to be all in or none. You have to be all in, but understand that all in does not mean you can't have off land meals. It doesn't mean that you're not going to fall off plan. It means that when you fall off, you just get back on. So we don't want anyone to think they have to be a fitness model. We don't have, that's not the problem. Nick can attest to this. The fitness industry and the weight loss industry, they're both doing the same thing, but the fitness industry makes it so hard for the weight loss industry because they say you have to eat organic. You can't have soda. You can't drink alcohol. Yes, you can. You will never hear me say you can. Chelsea Hannah wrote the Florida Body Cough, she loves alcohol. We made a salmon, asparagus, and vodka meal. <laughs> it's not an equal substitute, but it minimizes the damage. The whole point is that this is for everybody, not just people who want to be extremely fit. Whatever your goal is. Okay, can we have that back up, please? So, reveal also, when you eat five or six times a day, it ignites your metabolism. It's not about calories in versus calories out. So this is a huge concept. Calories in versus calories out. You take in 2,500, you burn 2,500, you take in 2,000. 500 caloric deficit. You will lose weight. You will hit a plateau you can't break through. Because you're doing it through restriction. When is a deprivation of anything, a deficit ever a good thing? Doesn't every deficit eventually have to be repaid? When you diet and you restrict, you create a deficit that eventually you have to repay with your hunger. Okay? With blood sugar, you don't. Grab that piece of fat again that you want to lose. Every pound of stored body fat has 3,500 stored calories. 3,500. So check this out. Huge, huge mindset. So I'm asking everyone to shift your mind right now. When your blood sugar is stable, you release your stored fat. So you're burning 2,500, taking in 2,000. That additional 500 calorie deficit is replaced by your stored fat. It's replaced immediately because your blood sugar is stable, your body is not in a panic state. This is not a thought. This is not a philosophy. This is pure <laughs> physiology. Then guess what? The leaner you get, the hungrier you get. With diets, the leaner you get, the less you eat. The less you eat, the more you have to exercise. When you stabilize your blood sugar, the leaner you get, the more food you have to eat. Because you have less stored fat. Your body is a refuel as it goes machine. So when you stabilize your blood sugar, you burn your stored body fat, you, you become a fat-burning machine. We ignite your metabolism. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. You. Okay. So, we now know dieting fails. Does everyone agree with me on that? Yes. Okay, anyone not agree? Okay, I'm looking, so I'm making sure. <laughs> and if you don't, that's cool. I love questions. We had, remember James yesterday? We were in this trainer's 20-year-old. 
Remember when you were 21 and you thought you knew everything? <laughs> that was like yesterday, and I did. I, I learned the best lesson when I was 20, because at 20 and I was in my exercise physiology class, and I was reading the magazines, the muscle magazines, and I went to my doctor, one of my teachers, and I challenged him, and I was so arrogant. And he looked at me and he said, are you sure about that? I said, yes. <laughs> and then he just systematically in three minutes just told me, showed me exactly how I was wrong. And he said, Mark, I want to teach you a valuable lesson. Eventually one day, you're going to talk to someone that's going to know more than you. So be very careful when you challenge them. And he's right. So now you never hear me talk about something I don't know. And that's the key. So we know dieting fails. We know you've got to stabilize your blood sugar. We know that when life shows up, it's not easy. So how's the best way to do it? You have reveal. And how else do you protect your antioxidants and your cells? Active. Combination of the two. Then we look at that. Your body is a refuel that goes machine. So we know that you have to stabilize your blood sugar to consistently release stored fat. But it's more than that. It's just not weight loss. Because you're going to talk to people that are going to say, Mark, I want to lose weight. But once they lose weight, what's going to happen? They're going to hit a plateau they can't break through. That's where Fran is. Fran is down three and a half stones, and she, now she's at a plateau. She's got to raise her game. So it's weight loss, breakthrough, and lifestyle. Just like the lady I spoke with yesterday, I don't want to do a shake the rest of my life. If you want to keep your blood sugar stable, that's why you do do it for the rest of your life. We're not teaching anything that you can't do for the rest of your life. We're not saying have shakes instead of real food. We're saying do both. Because in my expertise, and I challenge you on this, if that's your mindset, do this. Live the program the way it's supposed to be lived for four weeks. That fifth week, live it without any shakes. And, and then after that week, see how hard it is to do six real meals. You can do that. But we need people to be consistent. See, everyone's going to fall off plan. If you don't have a plan to come back to, it's not whether you fall off, it's when you fall off and how quickly you can get back on that's going to be to your success. So, two things. So you have a why in business. So now we look at that as more than just a nutrition program. We know there's more than just blood sugar. It's all three phases. It works for everybody, whatever your goal is. So then we look at, back in 2001, I'm working with a client, and some of my clients, they're doing blood sugar, but they're not, they're struggling once they achieve their goal, and they come to me and they say, Mark, I'm struggling still. I'm struggling how to do it. And I said, well, how do you struggle? And they would say, well, I said, just do the program. And then they'd come back a month, and then I'm still struggling. I said, well, just do the program. And what I realized is I wasn't asking the right questions. I talked to you about envisioning where you wanted to go, correct? Everyone hold that. You got that? Yeah. Now, imagine you achieved it. You achieved it. Hold on to that. Now ask yourself, now what? See, those are goals. Goals are fantastic. We all want goals. I love health goals. You want to gain five pounds. You want to lose 20 pounds. You want more energy. All of those are goals. But you will achieve the goals. If you don't have an anchor called your why, you have no clarity on what you get from your health. See, when I was a fitness model, everything about me was what I looked like. And I was always chasing something. And when that became to me and I made a choice, there's got to be a better way, I realized, what do I really get from my health? Well, I didn't have Hunter at the time, but now I do. And what I said is, well, at that moment I said, I want to be a better man. I want to be a better husband. I want to have the energy to come home so I have a conversation with my wife. I want to be able to be with my clients and be the best that I can be. I don't want to be crashing my mid-afternoon meal because of low blood sugar. And with my son now, I want to be the man that has the energy to coach him and be there for him. See, what I get from my health is I get to be the dad, the husband, the leader, and the person I want to be. So when I fall off plan, I know what I get up for my health, so I get back on. That makes sense, everybody. So check it out. If you win the program, you will achieve your goals. But you will achieve that, and then people say, oh, you look good, you look great, and then you're all, oh, I can get away with that, I can get away with that. It happens. But when you know in your why, you come right back on. So you gotta know your why. And then the last thing, 2001, I talked about my wife having fibromyalgia. Someone tripped over a carpet, a waiter, elbow went right into her neck. And in two months, 
She was on pain medication, sleep medication, and two forms of digestive medication. She had IBS and she had stomach acid challenges. And over that next year, it was the hardest year of my life. Our life. I mean, it was more her. But when I talk about hope, you know, it's a crazy thing. Because I'm an internal optimist. And when you watch someone you love with all of your heart, like you're everything, deteriorate in front of your eyes, and you can't do anything about it, it just destroys you. So, I shared in the beginning, you know, six months in, I walk out of our, our, our house, and she's in, uh, in our living room, and she's there bald. I say, Abby, what's going on? And she said, I just, I'm never going to get better. I've lost hope. I said, no, you're going to get better. We'll find a way. And then you fast forward three months, and now it's nine months in, and I started losing hope. You know, I'm in there every day in Venice, helping clients, and I can't help my own wife. And you can't find, we saw 10 orthopedists, we saw three rheumatologists, and we had no solution for it. So you fast forward a year, it got so bad that we'd go to Disneyland and she was in a wheelchair, she'd walk for two minutes and she was in a wheelchair. We couldn't go anywhere. And the life that we thought we were going to have, we lost, we lost sight of. And then a client recommended I read a book called Mind Body Prescription. And as Anthony Robbins said, I went from a moment of complete desperation to inspiration. Realizing that Abby couldn't get better because fibromyalgia and autoimmune nervous system. She couldn't get better because she couldn't sleep. Because she couldn't sleep, she couldn't metabolize her food. Because she couldn't metabolize her food, she couldn't exercise. Because she could do that, her stress was off the chart. It's a kinetic chain of the body. So we put her on a plan. She couldn't do 60 minutes, but she started walking one minute a day. We got on a sleep structure just like our babies do it. Go to bed at this time, wake up at this time. And slowly and surely she got better and better and better. And in three months better, in six months off her medication, in a year, we have our life back. And to me, so look, anyone who's known me before, you know where my heart is. If you knew and you've never met me, I want you to understand that I have a seven-year-old son that we never thought we were going to have. I'm not here. To just say that you should do a program and use a product. Do I believe in it with all of my heart? You bet. Do I share the message with everybody? You bet I do. I believe it. Because I know it's what people need. And I changed my life. So when I look at a seven, my seven-year-old son, when we were in St. Louis last week, and he's in there, and he's dancing on the stage with Dallin on his shoulders and stuff. Man, that's what it's about. And that's a child we never thought we were going to have. And she's not, the program didn't cure fibromyalgia, no. But guess what it gave her? It gave her a tool that she got a plan that she can work from that when she has her tough days, when she does fall off, she knows exactly what to get back on. And that's what people want. I call millions of people throughout the world are desperately willing to do the work, but they don't know what to do. That's what we're going to teach them. That's why together we can change the world. So that's the program. Okay, this is what it is. The program of why reveal. So that's in the essence of everything. Now, before I go on, I want to share something. You know, North America, we launched and we launched the full everything. You know, the booklet, software, all that. This booklet is going to be with UK Meals in about 10 days available for everybody to go along with the product. I'm not coming in for a moment and then I'm gone. We're starting to do monthly webcasts that will be recorded that you can bring people to so that we continue the education and grow together. Does that sound good to everybody? Yes. So, we can make the UK explode. And what I care about is that everyone who lives in the program has the right tools. Yes. So right now, this book is in 10 days, but until then, and you got the PowerPoint. And you're learning the tools right now to do that. Plus, Conrad and I talked about A.K.A. Calvin, right, Connor? <laughs> oh, that's a good, Conrad and Calvin are partners, and sometimes we call him Calvin, but I know Conrad so much. He's the best. I can't wait for you guys to hear from him. Uh, what we talked about, that there'll be a CD that you can just hand to someone, like a health professional, an athlete, explaining the program. Everything's got to be the tools. And until that happens, you're being empowered right now to share it and live it. Okay? So number one, you've got to live the program. You know dieting fails, you gotta stabilize your blood, you know why to reveal, you know that it works for everybody, and you gotta work the plan. So you gotta live it, 
and you understand why revealed, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, so now, how do we live it more? How do you truly live the plan? So reveal is pretty easy. You do your shake or you do your shake one to three times a day. It could be breakfast, it could be mid-morning, mid-afternoon. I like it like this. I wake up at 5 a.m. and I have a shake. I then eat a regular breakfast and say, like before, so today, use the example. I woke up before he exercised, I had a shake. We then trained, and then I went to breakfast with Jamie, and we had scrambled eggs and fruit. So I had a balanced meal. Protein, fat, carbs, it hit my ratio. Just like that. So whatever goal type you are, goal type one is lose weight, lose fat. Goal type two is gain weight. Um, um, gain, um, gain muscle mass. Your gain muscle mass in goal type one is just not the main focus. Because muscle is your friend. So based upon it is, you just need to know what's your protein, what's your fat, what's your carbs. Tell me, we talked yesterday, she said, I said, you should measure your food. She said, I'm not going to measure my food. So this is my deal to everybody. Please hear me here. If you've never measured what four ounces of chicken looks like, how do you know what it is? I'm not going to ask anyone to measure their food or journal for the rest of their life. Two weeks. Two weeks. Measure your food for two weeks. And then you know, and then you're empowered. You know why diets are so sexy and exciting? Because they're easy. But we said, who has kids? Raise your hand. Is that the easiest thing? No. Being married or rich, is that the easiest thing? No. But the juice is worth the squeeze. Right? So you do it. Same thing with this. We want to make it realistic to people, but put some time in initially, just for a moment. So right there. So then I have the scrambled eggs and fruit. I didn't bring out a scale, obviously. I knew what my portions were, so I eat. Then I just had a shake before I came on. Then I'll, and then Jamie got me a chicken salad, which is awesome. Thank you, Jamie, for doing that. So then I'll have that next. And then I'll probably have another shake. And then I'll have a dinner. Or I'll probably have a dinner after that, and then a shake before bed. That's how you can do it. So you fill in the gaps with it. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. And then you eat your real food. We have to let go of that mindset of I'm not going to eat real food. No, you do. And that a meal replacement shake is the best thing for you. You need protein. You need a balance. And you need antioxidants. That's what Reveal gives you. It's not a diet shake. It's not what Herbalife launched. It's not what any other direct selling company launched. It's not what any type of nutrition company launched. They're all diets. 99.9% .9 of everything on the market is dieting. We have just separated ourselves from that. And this is not, I know Mana B, UK, two years old. But please understand that this is the program that I created in 1999. We have done this program worldwide, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who have it. So this isn't a new program. There's nothing new like, oh, we're testing it out. No, we know this is. Reveal, we know it's the best meal replacement shape. Mana B created, when we talk about active, Mana B in 2005, created the greatest mechanism to freeze dry the acai berry. The acai berry is the greatest antioxidant on the earth. And what they're able to do with the acai berry, no one else was able to do. The acai berry wasn't new, it was a huge in Brazil. You know why people didn't have it? Because no one knew, because in 48 hours, you can't, it loses all its value. Monavi created the patent formula to freeze dry it so you get the greatest amount of it. And that's why you have active. So what we're doing here, is not a test. We have the opportunity to continue to change the world, and people want it. Make sense? Okay, cool. So does this make sense to everybody? Okay, and what we have in the back of this PowerPoint, you have, for, you have meal plans. You also, I love that everyone speaks English. Well, not everybody, kind of. Um, <laughs> right there. But Body Confidence, you can read my book, Body Confidence, all has meal plans. Now, what we're doing with Fran, because Fran is a big partner of ours in Venice Nutrition. Fran has is, is created some, some UK specific meal plans. So for the foods that you eat in the UK, a little different than America. Similar, but a little different. So we'll have those specific UK meal plans in the both of them. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Because once again, you have to have food. When you, someone does a program, they have to understand what they do. Okay. So that's a great meal rhythm. The only adjustment in the plateau and the lifestyle, the plateau is you just have to raise your game. Higher quality food. In the lifestyle, you just live the plan forever. Any questions on that? Good? Okay, perfect. So, this is in the PowerPoint. You have the sample meal plans. 
So, nutrition releases your stored fat, your exercise burns it up. Three things you need to know with exercise. You have half your body, this is a general, is red muscle, half is white muscle. Marathon runner, sprinter. If you're only doing one type of cardio, like walking on a treadmill, you are only burning fat in 50% of your muscle. You have to diversify your exercise. So the way it should work is we eventually want everybody to be doing strength training along with high intensity cardio. So you do, like Monday would be strength training. Tuesday could be high intensity cardio, like sprinting, where you go explosion recovery, explosion recovery. And then Wednesday strength training, and then high intensity cardio. And each one of those would be followed with fat burning cardio, which is steady, consistent. That makes sense? Yes. Like this morning, Jamie and I did 25 minutes of weight training, and then we went for a walk for 45 minutes. See, that's how you activated all your muscle fibers. So everyone, sit up in their chair, straighten your, strengthen your core. Perfect. And see, now if your blood sugar is stable, you are burning fat in all of that muscle right now. See, it's not about doing more, it's about being better at what you do. So everyone should be sitting like this for the rest of the event. <laughs> right? Nick, you're going to burn more muscle. I mean more fat. Not muscle. You're going to burn more fat this way, so activate. So this is the key. We're educating people on how to optimize their body. They just don't know it. People do their fat burning cardio first. That's opposite of how you maximize your fuel pathways. you got to do your fat burning cardio like walking after your high intensity cardio is straight training. If you do it before, you're not maximizing your fat burning. You will burn 30 to 40 percent more fat by doing it after. And then you have like a venture boot camp. What we talk about a venture boot camp, where that gets a combination of both strength training and high intensity cardio. So it fits in perfect. <coughs> so like for your clients, it's great because they stabilize their blood sugar. They're going in, they're releasing their stored fat, and then with your exercise, they burn it up. That's the thing. When we look at the program, you have to know the nutrition side, and then you obviously need to have the exercise side. And then when we talk about sleep, stress, <coughs> water intake, and supplements, you can read in Body Confidence. Real quick, and the booklet, which is available 10 days. When we look at, when we look around that, 10 or 14, right? Steve, 10 or 14. So when we look at water, women should do at least two to three liters, men should do at least four to five liters. Your body is 60 to 70% water. If you're not drinking water, you will not mobilize fat efficiently. These are things people just don't <coughs> Okay. Okay, so, does everyone understand the program? Yes. yes. Do we understand why reveal and active? Yes. yes. And then do we understand a vision of how to live it? Yes. yes. Everybody? Yes. Okay, so now, before I talk about the business side of it, it's time to take action. This is going to be my strongest recommendation to all of you. Okay? Look, I know many of you, you know, you're business builders, or you're new, maybe you're going to become a business builder. But if you're going to share the program, you have to live it. You don't have to have a fitness model body type. I don't care about that. No one cares about that. So if you feel you need to lose five stones or three stones, as long as you're living it and you're in the process of it, you can go up to someone confidently and say, you know, and you can simply say, you know, I know I still need to lose some stones, but I'm living the program. And I'm down this, or I'm progressing this. So now you've already started sharing your story. <coughs> but if you're not living the program and you just say, you need to do this uh, product and you need to do this program, they're going to see that. You have to be 100% authentic. You have to be 100% passionate. And you have to be 100% vulnerable. And when you're all three of those, you have 100% conviction. People have asked me my whole career, why do people enroll when I was coaching full time? Why does everyone enroll when you talk to them? Well, first off, there was a qualified aspect of it, but the reality is, I believe with all my heart that you should do the program. I believe it will change what you do. And I think that comes across. So you don't have to be me, you gotta be you. And you have to live it and have your own story and then share it, and if you're not living it fully yet, Dive into it. Know it first before you start sharing it. You have friends you can say, oh, you need to do Reveal. Do this program with me. But before you start trying to recruit people, make sure that you understand it. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. It's so big. Because you have to lead by example. No hypocrisy. 
Not do as I say, not as I do. You have to do it. If you're with me, if you spend time with me, Steve, do I live karma? Do I live what I say? Yes. 100%. And if not, I'm a hypocrite. But I do, so live what you say. Okay. So, everyone's ready to take action? Yes. yes. Okay, so now, let's look at this. So you're living the program. Now let's say, before I go through these nine steps, how do you get your product for free? Okay, because that's the first thing. And, and in essence, grow. Okay, so you get eight people today. I want you to write down eight people that you know. You have your eight people, and, and this way, speak to whoever's your upline, and they'll give you more direction. But I got proof from Steve just on this. This is the vision of it. You put four people on one leg, you put four people on the other leg. You get each of them on reveal, two tubs is 100 PV. Okay? You get two, you get a case of active, that's 100 PV. So now all of them are doing reveal and active. That's 200 PV. You get four on one leg, four on another leg, that's going to get you enough to get your product for free. But guess what's going to happen? When you have those eight people, then they're going to do the same thing. They're going to grow and they're going to grow. So I'll have to speak to your upline. But when we start looking at the possibility of how do I utilize the product for free? How can I grow from there? How do I spread the message? You gotta show people how to do that. Because this is what I've seen. You know, a lot of times people put their health secondary when they run it when money runs tight. But this is what I want to share with you. Even though the economy may be challenging for some people, the reality is that people are still finding ways to invest in their health. I see people all the time spend 200, 300, 500 thousand dollars on their health. It only grows by the day. But if we can show people how they can utilize the product for the rest of their life, and they can just be part of it, then that's what we do. That makes sense to everybody? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, scoop side, one thing I forgot. Scoop's a little different. There was a mistake on the scooping side. Uh, it's two scoops for a female, gold type one, three scoops for a male. Okay, to gain weight, a female would do three scoops, a man would do four scoops. Good? Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then when you use your juice, you know, Greg, he, uh, he said, I love it, man. He gave me a bottle, and, and this is amazing energy. He gave me a, a AMB with some juice with no protein. I said, where's my protein, man? <laughs> so look, if you're going to have the juice, the juice you need to do, work it into your meal, break it as a carb. Okay, so you eat it with the meal, not just by itself, okay? Because alone by itself will spike your blood sugar. Okay, so here, here's our nine steps. Let's go through it. We got like one minute left. So we're here. Who haven't I talked to yet? We haven't talked to someone in the back. Hold on, let me see. Everyone's turning away. Turn, they don't pick on me. Right here. Here we go. What's your name? Christina. Christina. So Christina's here. Keep that up for me. Thanks, Mom. So, first thing, nine steps. You got to know what it is, right? You got to live it first. Got to live it before you share it. Then we say, okay, what's your goal, Christina? Mm, lost probably two stones. You want to lose two stones. Okay, great. Have you lost weight before? Yes. Have you gained that weight back? Yes. Do you want to find a different way? Yes. To permanently lose that weight? Yes. Okay, so he, she now knows why dieting failed. I love your yes. passion. Okay, so it's very simple. We're going to put you on a plan where you're just going to eat consistently throughout the day and release that stored fat. How's that sound? Okay, so then we say, now the next question is, are you busy? No. Okay, say you are. Yes. <laughs> We're improvising here. Because few people will say that, but if she does, then you just say, that's great. Eventually you will be. But are you busy? Yes. Yes. Okay. How many meals do you eat in a day right now? Two or three. Okay, so what we're going to do is I have this product called Reveal. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing meal replacement shake that's going to help you fill in the gap so that we can get you eating five to six times a day. Because if you don't eat five or six times a day, you're going to lose weight and then regain it just like you've always done. How's that sound? Okay, so now I've addressed diet, blood sugar, and obviously you can do it more. We've talked about Reveal. And then I'm saying, and guess what? Are you married? No. Do you have kids? Okay, how old are your kids? Four now. Four. Well, guess what? 
this program works for everybody. Yeah. So it's not just, you know, when you, have, when you dieted before, was it just for you? Did you only diet? Just for me. Yeah. So what if, we, what if I'm going to teach you how to do a program mm -hmm. that you can include your children in, or your child in, your four-year-old? Okay? So that you can set him or her, her, him, her, set her up to win. And then you can share it with the rest of your family. How's that sound? Okay, so now we just laid that a work for everybody, not just her as a dieter, right? When I grew up, my mom and my sister Lori ate their diet foods, and then my dad and my sister Chris and I ate our good food, right? <laughs> Total separation, because they were dieters. We don't do that, it's for everybody. So number five, we understand works for everybody. And then I can simply say, what do you eat for breakfast? Bread? You like ham? Okay, so she eats bread and ham, so I can simply say, can we keep that up too? We can simply say, you could do some ham, that would be some protein and fat, and then you could have some bread. So you want to, if you can, you give them a sample of what they're eating and just share what you ate. Like I said, scramble eggs and fruit. See, if you're living the program, you don't have to be a nutritionist. You just have to share what you're doing. But if you're not living it, how can you share what you're doing? Right? You can't. You gotta live what you teach. Okay, so then we gave you how to do it. And then exercise. Ideally, we want everybody to do high intensity and fat burning and strength training. Which, guess what? If, if that's new to people, just start walking. Just ride a bike. We don't want people to feel they have to do so much that it's overwhelming to them. So I'd say, what are you doing exercise-wise? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Can you walk a couple days a week? Yeah, not when I walk. So you can walk a couple days a week? Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you do that? So we're going to teach you how to eat and then you're going to walk a little bit. Yeah. And then we'll educate you on that. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, so now that, and that's it. Are you ready to take action? Completely. Are you ready to permanently reprogram your metabolism? Exactly. Completely. This is what you need to do. You bring your reveal, you have your active, you have your enrollment form right there, right? And you get them on it. I get you on it. You would enroll. You'd be set up. We give you the booklet. Until then, give her the PowerPoint and set her up to win. How's that sound? And then, and then, based upon what you're being taught with your upline, she would turn her obsession into a monomy business. As she lives in, she becomes an advocate for our message. And that's how we change the world. That makes sense, everybody. I'm leaving you with this. There's many things you cannot control in life. The one thing you can control is how you choose to take care of yourself. I was on a horse and carriage at the Black Tie event in St. Louis. And it was Kay Dabritsky, head of Canada, my wife Abby, and myself. And there was a driver there, a gentleman about 65 years old, with his son. And he's a Vietnam vet. And we were just talking. He said, what do you guys do? Because we had all these horse and carriages to watch fireworks under the arch in St. Louis. We said, oh, we're going to come to call Monty, help him well. I said, you know, I, from Agent Orange in Vietnam, I came down with diabetes. And I feel like I'm losing my life. And his 18-year-old son's right there is driving. And he's saying, can it help me? I said, you bet it can. I said, we're going to help stabilize your blood sugar. Because I've worked, I'm a national ambassador for American Diabetes Association. So when we talk about Reveal, our program is all about, it helps everybody. Diabetes is just a disease or a medical challenge, I don't like the word disease, medical challenge that, that your body can no longer stabilize its blood sugar, type 1 or type 2. So in the moment, when I talk about hope, the moment I said, you bet we can, you should see the smile on his face. See, that's what we're doing. It's not just about... You know, when we talk about a program, product, business opportunity, that's fantastic. Well, what does that really mean? It means that we're providing people the opportunity to live the health that they want, to take their body to wherever it wants to go. We're providing the tools for that and the answers. And in addition, you know what his next question was? Because he's driving a horse and carriage, is can I make a business out of it? And I said, you, yes, you can. <laughs> I want to 
know, to, I mean, to learn and pass to my sister-in-law to look after him because she's also Perfect. overweight. So right after this, we'll talk I'm about that. About. I love the passion. I think I'm in Brazil. All right, in Brazil? We're going to Brazil. So we'll talk, we'll talk right after. All right. Great I love the passion. Let's go. You see that? It's coming out. So listen. His question was, can I make a business out of it? I said, yes, you can. That's the key. Our message is so strong. It is so open to the world that together we can take back our health and we can stop the downslide worldwide and change the world together. And in essence, you will take your health and your business to the next level. Thanks everybody, so appreciate it.